Welcome children for this lesson once again. I'm going to teach Anabor Richards. And today we're looking at a few more diseases of the circulatory system. And specifically, we are looking at those which affect the heart. That organ which is delicate from the chest cavity. Remember, we looked at it earlier on and you saw all the parts that makes up the heart. Now, this disease, you are going to see by the end of this lesson, which diseases affect the heart. Then two, we shall be able to mention some of the few causes of these heart diseases. Then three, how can we prevent heart diseases? So, concentrate children, be focused, and begin off. Uh -huh. Can you tell me any disease you think affects your heart? Can you think of any disease which affects your heart? Let me think about that one. Ah, let's check if you're right. Pop. Ah, ah, I know you could be having that number one. We call it attack. Uh -huh. We have also another one called heart failure. We have another one called heart stroke. There's also another one called high blood pressure, what we call hypertension. We can go through them. Heart attack, heart failure, heart stroke, high blood pressure. Of course, there are many others, but let us look at basically this one here. Now, ah, what does that attack mean? Now, this heart attack, many of my people talking about heart attack. As you got an heart attack, what does it mean exactly? So it is a condition when the heart muscles is tell to get enough blood supply. As I told you earlier on that the blood, the heart is supplied by blood through the coronary arteries. Now, the condition brought about by blockage of these arteries, which supply the heart with blood, these are what we call the coronary arteries. So what exactly happens is that because of what we eat, especially that junk food I talked about earlier on, the fats are going to form inside these arteries. The fatty depots called athroma form inside the, of these arteries. And as they form inside the arteries, they become narrow and narrow until they are blocked by blood clots, we call the thrombots. Now, the blood clot will block the artery and the blood, flow, blood flow is going to be reduced or stopped completely. I think of that. So the blood does not move where it's supposed to be going. Can even can be reduced, and once that one happens, the heart becomes weak. You get an heart attack. You are dead. It's a very very bad disease, children. So what do we need to do here, children? Mind about what you're eating. The fatty food. I don't like eating a lot of junk food. Those food which are fatty can result into this disease. So take care. Then we also have another disease here called heart failure. This one happens when the heart fails to pump blood to all parts of the body properly. When one has this heart failure, there's a reduction in the amount of blood leaving and getting back to the heart. So the body tissue don't get the required supply of blood, nutrients, and oxygen. And that implies if the heart fails to do it due to pumping blood, we are dead. That's another dangerous disease. So what do we need to do here? Exercising is very, very important for us. We have another disease we call heart stroke. I know stroke is a dangerous disease. It affects different parts of the body. And what does this stroke mean? A stroke is a brain problem originating from damage to the heart. When the brain tissue begins to die within means of not getting oxygen, basically. So let us go back to it. It's a brain problem with originating from damage to the heart when the brain tissue begins to die within minutes of not getting oxygen. So what makes our brain tissue not get oxygen? We shall find out later on. Heart stroke may be caused when the blood vessel is blocked by clots. Remember those clots are can be out of the first disease we looked at. That is that attack. So there's need for us to be careful about this stroke. This stroke can affect different parts of the body. When somebody develops a stroke, some parts of the body are going to be paralyzed. We lose the sense of feeling. We can also be deformed a bit. It's a very, very bad disease, children. So what do we need to do here? Exercising is very, very vital for us here. Aha. Uh -huh. You can see when you develop a stroke, the five things are going to pain you. The red area around the heart is going to be very painful. Why you see the red? The person is complaining about the pain. And eventually, is going to lose it up. Then, there's another disease we call hypertension, or what we call high blood pressure. You know, my hear people, that person has got pressure, pressure. Now, what does that mean? 
So this happens when the pressure in the arteries remain high over a period of time. I told you earlier on children that arteries carry blood with a high, with a high pressure. And that's why they don't have valves in them. Now, their pressure must be regulated. So what happens in hypertension, the pressure becomes constant, they high all the time, for a long period of time. So the high pressure is normally a result of overweight. Uh -huh. Some of you are now you are getting a lot of food. Now you say, ah, I think I'm about to get it. But you can still prevent yourself. It results from an increase of fats in the arteries and veins. This causes the heart to pump harder and than normal to get enough blood to all body parts. So what do we need to do, children? I know you know this now. So eat well, exercise your body. Fine. What causes these heart diseases? One of the main causes of heart diseases is smoking. If you smoke, you are going to affect the heart. Another cause of heart diseases could be alcoholism. I know you don't do only any of these two. If you don't take alcohol, I miss you. Store that is wine. Then also eating too much fatty foods, lack of physical body exercise. You be getting this is your body talked about. Remember them? Uh huh. Let's go back. We talked about heart attack, heart stroke, heart failure. Hypertension. If you don't get, if you don't want to get any of those diseases, children, do the above things here. Don't smoke. Don't do only kind of thing like this. So, let's look at ways you can prevent these diseases here. One, doing regular physical body exercise. If you exercise, you make your body heart muscle strong so that you can pump blood to different parts of the body. Eating a balanced diet. Avoid smoking and use of alcohol. Eating meals containing low animal fats. You will not get any of these diseases here. I know about the learned about all this same kind of thing, and you are going to be care careful about your body. So I'm going to use an activity to you. These are just four questions which I want you to answer. The first question is to mention any diseases of the heart, you know. The second question, how are regular body exercise helpful to prevent heart diseases? And the third question, mention one bad habit that may affect the heart. And last but not least, you mentioned any two body exercise you can do to strengthen your hands. Thank you for being good children. I mean your teacher, Nabo Richard. Take care and stay safe.